All right, so we have our doc type declaration. We have our HTML element, and inside our HTML element, we have our body element. And now we're going to write the P element, which is short for paragraph. All right, so this is how we actually make something show up on the screen. So by the end of this, we will actually be able to write our very first HTML. This is awesome. So I write it by using a less than symbol, P, greater than symbol, and then close it just like that, right? And then between the two, so between paragraph and close paragraph, I can actually put on the same line if I really wanted to, right? So check this out. I can put it like that. And in between, I just write, this is my first web page. Okay, and just to recap where we're at, we have our body and inside our body, we have P, which is short for paragraph. We open up using this P, open P tag, and then we have a close P tag, all right, forward slash, and in between it, we write, this is my first web page. This closes the body, this closes my HTML element. If I run it, when I click this up here, when I say run it, that means that it compiles all of this and actually shows you what a web page would look like if this was the code. If I run it, I get this. It says, this is my first web page. So if I click up here in the top right corner where it says open a new tab, this is what my web page would look like, right? Pretty cool. You actually wrote in HTML and made this do that. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's actually how you would use the P element. And once again, P stands for paragraph. I got this.